Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about a simple topic called capacitive divider. Okay. So you might be wondering if we have the resistive divider, why do we need the capacitive divider? Why do we need to understand about the capacitive divider? Even if we have very simple resistive divider, there is a no point of understanding the capacitive divider and you, you, you might also think that there is a no application of this capacitive divider. Okay. So we will understand how this capacitive divider works and along with that we will also understand the simulation of capacitive divider in LT spies. Okay. So this is very interesting video going to be very interesting video. Right. Okay. So let us start first. I have you can see here I have drawn one capacitive divider circuit. So you see this is the simple voltage source. Okay. This is the simple voltage source. And you see here the on voltage is 5 volt and the T on is 0 0.5 millisecond and the time period is is 1 millisecond. Okay. Okay. So this is your pulse width is 1 millisecond and then this is connected to a C1 and C2 and the value for C1 is 470 nanofarad and the value for C2 is also 470 nanofarad. So we have this balance divider. This is called balanced capacitive divider, right? So we have this balanced capacitive divider. That means C1 equal to C2. Okay. So you you now you need to understand how this capacitive divider works. Okay. Okay. Later I'll explain you the application of this capacitive divider. At the end of this video, I'll explain you the application of this capacitive divider right so so let us understand now how this capacitive divider works so you see the capacitive divider offers zero impedance at dc voltage or dc source and it offers a impedance at ac source since you know that the reactive impedance of the capacitor is given by one divide by x equals to 1 divided by 2 pi fc so if you want to calculate the impedance across this c1 let us say the impedance across this c1 is x c1 equals to 1 divided by 2 pi f c1 and the impedance across this x c2 is uh, x c2 equal to 1 divided by 2 pi f C2. Let us now calculate the impedance across the C1 and C2. Okay. So I'll use the calculator. Okay. So let me do some calculation for you. So 1 divide by 1 divide by let us say let us say 2 pi 3.14 F f in this case i am considering the frequency let us say 100 hertz let us assume this 100 hertz okay multiply by the capacitance value that is 470 nanofarad okay so for now i consider 470 if you double click you will get this value and i will multiply this to 10 to the power 9 for nanofarad 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so you see here the the capacitive reactance across x c1 is 3.387 kilo ohm so so is the same for c2 as well so x c1 equals to x c2 equals to 3.387 right so since now you see the impedance for both c1 and c2 are equal in this case so you should get the the voltage whatever voltage here is divided by 2 let us say here you have 5 volt uh, 5 voltage source 5 volt here the input supply you will get 2.5 volt right so so let me, let me change here the the time period and t on time for 100 hertz so this is 10 millisecond and no this is 5 millisecond and this would be this would be 10 millisecond right 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 
now let me run the simulation and show you the output this is very interesting so guys you see here you see here the the you see here this output is 5 volt with the frequency let me show you so you can add the cursor and you can see easily see the frequency here let me start from here the heads and let me end here so somewhere around you see the frequency for this this voltage source v1 is 99.3 you may adjust somewhere you will get 100 so at the end the the frequency for this voltage source v1 is around 100 100 hertz right so now this is your input voltage with the amplitude of 5 volt and the frequency of 100 100 right 100 hertz so let me show you the output voltage which is given by vo so let me click on it now you can guys you can see your input voltage is v in which is in blue color is 5 volt with the frequency of amplitude is 5 volt and frequency is 100 hertz and the and the output voltage is given in green which is the amplitude of 2.5 volt with the frequency with the same frequency whatever your input frequency was okay so your input frequency was since 100 hertz you see the same output frequency so that is how you guys you see that is how you see here a capacitive divider works okay if you if you give some ac excite excitation or ac pulse source to drive the capacitor or any pulsating DC pulse source to drive the capacitor, the capac then what happens is the capacitive reactance comes in the picture, cap capacitive reactance comes into the picture and based on the reactance, it divides the input voltage. Okay, let me do is what we can do is let me alter the value for here. It is now 100 nanohertz. So now you see your C1 value is 470 nanofarad and C2 value is 100 nanofarad. Now you see your C1 and C2 are unbalanced. Let me run the simulation again and show you the output. Okay. So now you see the your input is 5 volt, but your output is around 4.1 volt. Okay. How is you see you see here the the reactance across this c2 since the capacitance value is less and it is inversely proportional reactance is inversely proportional to capacitance if the capacitance value is less it will offer more reactance and if the capacitance value is higher it will offer less reactance okay now you see the reactance value across this c2 is higher you see here and you see how the voltage divider works and here you see the 4 volt output okay what i'll do is now instead of pulsating voltage i'll keep this the dc voltage let's see what happens at the output so now you see the your input voltage is only the 5 volt and let me run the simulation okay now you see here your input voltage is 5 volt dc which is in blue color and you see your output voltage is 0 volt so what does it mean it it means that in the dc capacitance of uh, zero impedance zero impedance and you can see here even if your input voltage is 5 volt your output voltage is zero volt